Hi guys, welcome back to another lesson. Today we will be doing a difficult circle geometry question. Let's start by looking at the question. They give us a useful piece of information that AT bisects MTR. So first let's draw in MTR. So we're going to start with M, draw a line to T. Then from T we are going to draw a line to R. Therefore the angle MTR is that angle there. Now they tell us that AT bisects. Bisect means to cut in half. So AT cuts this angle in half. So if we have to draw in AT, AT would cut this angle in half. Therefore this half should be equal to that half. And so since T1 is X, therefore T2 is X. Perfect. Perfect. Therefore T2 is X. And so we can write that T2 is equal to X and your reason is AT bisects MTR. Now, we are also given that DRS is a tangent. So let's try to use tan quad theorem. So if we look at the tangent, let's just highlight our tangent. Now let's highlight a triangle that touches this tangent in order to use tan quad theorem. And triangle ART seems very useful. So let's highlight ART. Perfect. Now we can clearly see that T1 will be equal to R4 due to tan quad theorem. Therefore R4 should be X as well. So we can write R4 is equal to T1 which is equal to X and your reason is tan quad theorem. Perfect. Further to this we can also use our butterfly angles or angles in the same segment. So if we draw in the butterfly so if we look at the shape here, or the butterfly that I like to call it, we see that T2 should be equal to R2. Also, A should be equal to M. Although that's not used in the question, it's just for completion. Now, since T2 is X, therefore R3 is also equal to X. Therefore, we can say R3 is equal to T2. And your reason here would be angles in same segment. Further to this, we know T2 is X. Therefore, R4 is equal to R3 is equal to X. And we are done with this question. Thanks again for watching. Please like and share the video with your colleague. Comment below questions that you'd like me to solve in future videos. 